Hey everyone, it's Steve here at the DJ Lab taking a look at Engine DJ 3.2. This is the desktop OS update as well as the hardware OS update for products such as the Denon DJ standalone units and the Newmark DJ standalone units as well. Right now I'm going to take a look at the Denon DJ Go and show you how to do this update. This is pretty simple. You go into your settings, go into the about update, you're going to hit reboot. It's going to tell you more than likely that it found 3.2 on the web. And at this point, you could just hit the web button. You're on Wi-Fi. You've got your AC plugged in and let it do its thing. But what I'm going to do is have a link in the description of where to go download the firmware directly. So hit computer. Make sure your USB is plugged into your computer as well. And it's going to do a shutdown. And then you're going to end up with that screen right there. From that point there, you're going to open up the application. Then you're just going to hit start. And it's going to do its thing. While this is happening, I just want to let you know that my favorite part of this update has to be the day mode. This inverts the screen, gives you a white background, changes the color of the waveform. Thank God I was getting a little bit bored of the blue and the green, to be honest. It was looking a little bit dated. So this has a really cool look about it that isn't just a day mode thing, I think. It does help you see the screen much better in the direct sunlight, but even at night, if you turn on the brightness, you have that white background. It's much easier on my eyes. I have eye issues and wear glasses of progressives. And for some reason, that look seems to just not strain my eyes quite as much. A few of the other things that we have as well, too, is the fuzzy mixin. So fuzzy key mixin allows you to find tracks that are close in key. So as you're doing your mix, you're not jumping too much from one thing to another and you can have a much smoother mix. It's something I'm going to have to demonstrate in another video for you to really understand. This thing now says it's done. The unit automatically is rebooting itself. Let's take a better look at the screen here. And we'll just see a couple of things. Let me show you day mode. Go in there to the layout. And right down here you see day mode. Turn that on. And this is what you got. I have the brightness turned down for the camera so you could see a little better. But you can make it pretty damn bright. One of the other big things. And every bit of hardware is a little bit different. On the Prime 4 and the Denon DJ Go, the one thing that they have is a whole new set of effects. Just show you here. We got 25 effects here. We got echoes, echo out, small verb, delay, flanger, phaser, hold echo, ping pong, recycler, roll, stutter out, riser, pitch down, scale down, reverb, LFO verb, reverb drop, reverse verb, reverb rise, flanger minus, flex gate, beat break, LFO filter, backspin break, and crush. Always got to remember to turn off my phone while I'm doing these videos. So you guys are checking your phone. Um, I don't want to go through all the effects because I'd be here a little longer than I want to be. I will let you guys do the update yourself and play around with those effects. But they look like they're going to be really good. I tried out a few earlier. Echo Out was really, really good. Probably one of my favorite transitions because it's easy, simple, and smooth. Other than that, everything's about the same. I don't think they uh, changed too much. I do want to mention that on the Newmark Mixstream Pro Go, this new update fixed the EQ. So now you can have isolate EQ or just straight EQ. So you can have a kill on your EQ, which is really nice and was asked for. But this day mode looks really, really good. I'm really liking this whole thing. 
And shout out to 12 inch skins for the nice white skin that I just recently put on this. It's like the universe knew that day mode was coming and I would want to have white skins on all my equipment. Loving it. Feel free to leave some comments. Let me know what you think about the new update. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the alert button. And I will talk to you all later.